boys and girls thank you so much for tuning in it's your boy alan wade if it's your first time here give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already full disclaimer guys this video is going to be all over the place but you're going to like it let's go Okay guys, so far so great. It's my training on the MT-1501. You hear the machine in the background. One of the machines is just working, doing what it's supposed to be doing. Nobody's monitoring it. This stuff works, all right? So I don't know. It's just a matter of, you know, just like anything else, user error. That machine is back there stitching out the beast. Yeah, the, the big one right, the two head right here, stitching by itself like a bee. So the machines, the machines work. It's just a matter of getting them to work once you get possession of one and you know, you're in your house, all right? So yeah. They gave me a book. Feels like a leather book to, um, to an appendix, take some notes with. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take plenty of notes so I know what I'm doing when I get home. Got all this part up here. Mm -hmm. When we get to here, we go down mm -hmm. on the right side mm -hmm. through the aisle through the small spring mm -hmm. looking thing back up uh into the aisle mm -hmm. eyelet then back down into this small hole right there the mm -hmm. eyelet okay then all the way down through the hole hole number one yep. thread through the needle mm -hmm. and rest it right mm -hmm. and always behind oh this is always behind the yeah. bar <laughs> Miss yep. that step. okay all right cool yeah, yeah you got solid. it so got it. in the back you can see the actual sensor so you see all of these so if mm -hmm. i pull this where am i see right this? i see the wheel turning so it's turning and this is yeah. actually this bit is actually the, the sensor sensor so this is going to be on whichever needles working right and if the wheel it's isn't spinning, spinning the sensor is going to tell the machine stop right because it's thinking it's a thread break okay 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 mm -hmm. okay okay that's that's oh my gosh yep so, so thread break wheels just make sure you go around yep. once and the sensor will work mm -hmm. so in that video she was, she probably only went like this Right. That's why she said, I keep and getting a thread break error. And <laughs> it's not going to spin the wheel if it's just right. on the side. Yep. Okay, okay, wow. Yeah. So always after you feed it through the needle, mm -hmm. down through the pressure foot, presser foot, and then up. And... Perfect. Okay, exactly. got it, got it, got it. Tub Nation, training is going great. Um, I learned so much so far. I'm very confident in my ability to be able to uh, digitize, well, to stitch out a hat, the functionality of the machine, I should say. Um, the maintenance of the machine, the functionality of the machine, the buttons to press, how to thread the machine, how to troubleshoot a little bit, how to work the panel. Um, of course, all that determined is determined by how good your file is digitized. So um, there is some variables. I gotta work on my digitizing skills. We are going to be using um, Chroma Chroma Lux, so we're going to be switching over to Chroma Lux, guys. So stay tuned. It's going to be going to be serious. <sighs> All right, guys. Training went magnificent. Still going to be a few things that I'm going to need to brush up on because there's a lot of information to um, take in. But overall, my training was great. Um, I'm not afraid to turn some knobs and to press some buttons on the machine and um i'm ready to dive into it i just got to master my digitizing skills and besides that i'm ready to just dive into it man i'm i'm, I'm excited 
I'm excited, Dub Nation. All right. So let me just, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my time here in Florida. For those of you guys who ordered stuff on alanayway.com, I'll be home in a few days to, um, to uh, send everything out and stuff like that. But you see it, man. We did it. We came. We got, we got our hands on training. We talked to some folks. Great experience, guys. Great experience. Where, where did I park? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's up? 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 Looking good. MT fifteen oh one. Let's take a look inside the box. Hmm. First part of the shipment. Some type of contraption that's protected with bubble wrap. Looks important. I'm gonna take that in house first. Just took one leg in. About to take this leg in, and that's a big component. And I guess this has the hoops and everything in it. But um, yeah, this thing is massive. It's all right. This thing is massive. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this part, but I'll figure it out. One person on one side, one person on the other side. Uh, Chase, I have to call Chase. All right, here we go. A Dub Productions. Well, Dub Nation, we did it. We purchased a commercial embroidery machine. We brought the Racoma MT1501. Guys, um, if I sound a little funny, it's because I'm a little bit under the weather. Just came back from South Florida where we visited the Racoma factory. But let's back up a little bit. A few weeks ago, I pulled the trigger and I purchased the Racoma 1501 commercial embroidery machine. Those of you guys who've been following the channel, let me know if you remember last year, the end of last year or the beginning of this year, both I think, I said that by the end of this year I was gonna purchase a commercial embroidery machine. And um, look, we spoke it into existence, we manifested it, we worked our way up, and through the goodness of the YouTube gods and the man upstairs, with you guys' help, we're able to do that and we have in our possession Dub Nation, we own a commercial embroidery machine, 16 head, guys. I mean, 16 needle. I'm so, so excited. And um, I can't wait to show you guys how to use this thing. Now, the machine that we purchased um, has a lot of flack, gets a lot of flack online. And um, the reason why I went with this specific machine is because it has excellent customer service. It makes sense to me that that was the that would be the best machine for me and i'm going to tell you why you guys a lot of you guys subscribe to this channel because i give you like customer service right you guys want to know how to work your um sawgrass sg500 you guys want to work your you want to learn how to work your brother uh se600 you guys want to learn how to work your silhouette cameo 4 so where the company lacks, you guys go on YouTube for customer service. It's not necessarily the customers, the, the, the company's customer service, but it's, 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 it's people like me, creators like me, who give you this, this um, how to work these different units, right? So Racoma has their own, kind of like me, but it's actually the company. So Racoma has excellent, excellent customer service, and they will walk you through how to use the machine, give you different uh, tutorials, give you hands-on training, give you all this different types of stuff that's available um, when you get your machine. So that alone made me go with the company, made me want to um, use this company because I know how valuable that is. Case in point, right? So um, I, at that point, I didn't care how much flack it got online because I saw videos where the machine worked. And if the machine works for one person, it should work for everyone. Of course, you have to jump a few hurdles or, or whatever, whatever. You might have to. I don't know. But my theory is if somebody else can do it, then I can do it. I saw a lot of bad videos. Well, I won't even say a lot of bad videos. Some bad videos on reviews on the uh, unit. But overall, I thought that it was the best unit for me and I don't think I made a bad decision all right so uh 
we went, let me back up. So the machine came to my house in a huge, huge crate. This thing is massive, massive machine. And uh, you can't carry this machine in the house by yourself. You just can't, so just forget about it. Make sure you got at least three people, at least three people to help you carry this thing in the house. It comes in a huge uh, wooden crate, very, very good packaging. Um, and I almost peeled the skin off my fingers picking it up to take it in the house. But we got it in the house, got it set up, and um, that's where it is right now. And we will not dive into it yet, but we will dive into it soon. So make sure you subscribe and you stay in tuned for that. But guys, um, I know the machine works. I haven't used my machine yet, but I know the machine works. Why do I know the machine works? Because I just went down to South Florida to the Racoma factory, I guess you call it, the Racoma headquarters, and I saw the machine that I purchased work with my own two eyes, right? And not only that, um, when the machine comes to you, it has like a, 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 a cap on it and it's a design that was stitched out with that machine. Now I thought, I thought, is this company just putting caps on machines and acting like uh, the machine did that or is the machine capable of doing that or did this actual machine get tested and this machine printed that, uh, stitched that out. And while I was at the Racoma factory, I saw machines that were about to be shipped out getting tested in, the, in a back room. So what they do is they load the machine up, they load the machines up with uh, different designs and they do a quality test to make sure that your specific unit works before they ship it out, which is why um, the MT-1501 in particular comes with a cap hoop on it and an embroidered design on the cap hoop. That machine actually did that design before it got shipped out. But like I said, I, I, I got to use a machine just like mine. It was the same exact machine, as a matter of fact, and I, 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 I was threaded it. I, um, I, I pressed the buttons on it. The machine works, all right? So, guys, while I was in South Florida, and I'm a little under the weather because I don't have the coronavirus, though. So, while I was in South Florida, first of all, let me say I had a good time. I was in Fort Lauderdale. Had a great time. Um, plenty of beach, plenty of delicious food. And we got to visit the Racoma factory where I got to meet all the people that you see in the Racoma videos online. Got to meet the CEO of the company. Um, it was a great time. Henry Ma, shouts out to you. I appreciate you for hooking me up. Um, I appreciate you for letting me tour the Racoma facility. Very, very beautiful facility. Um, state of the art. Got a... Uh, all types of stuff in there, guys. All types of single heads, double heads, quadruples, all types of machines in there. But um, let me show you guys some of the footage and some of the things that I did while I was down there. All right, so I'm Jason, I'm the sales manager. Jason, nice to meet you, Jason. And nice to meet you hey, as well. Jason, we've been right, communicating right, right, right. the past few months. And you know Stephanie, right? Yep, I'm so excited. <laughs> Service is upstairs, marketing is upstairs also. This is basically the sales floor right here. Awesome. So, um, Aliana, who's actually over there, um, we'd definitely like to speak with you after, you know, you get the... Um, okay. After you kind of get shown the machine and everything like that. Sounds good. Hey this is mine. Mm. I was just looking for you guys. <laughs> How are you? How are you guys doing? Over there. In the videos. Over there. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good, good. This is it, right? Yes, this is it. I got it all set up at home. But I, didn't, I didn't thread it yet, but I Did looked it? at all the videos and they say just tie the thread, thread number one, yeah. and just yeah. pull it through. And Our machines come with a cap on it already. Yep. Now, is that cap a cap that was tested out on that specific machine? That is correct. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, but yeah. I'm like, I don't know, maybe, yeah. maybe put it on there to show what it's capable of doing, but, that, but that's, that's, that's No, it's, it's done with that specific cap. So when, wow. we, when we receive it from our factory, mm -hmm. uh, we receive it pretty much plain. And then right. once we come over here, we go ahead and we start testing first on a cap. We run a cap and then mm -hmm. we do minor tests because everything is pretty much already linked in. Yeah. But that's, that's pretty much what we do. And we leave it set for you so you don't have to, you know, waste so much time 
when you're, you're, you just get it, all you have to do is tie up the threads in the back and then you pull it through. You do have to uh, thread the needles. Right. Uh, so that's that's basically the only thing. At first, you know, if you're not, like me for example, I'm not pretty good with my eyes. At first it takes you a couple of seconds and then yeah. you get used to it, you get quicker. So this is a regular sweatshirt. This is just a regular sweatshirt. What type of, do you have stabilizer? Yeah, so on this one, I just, uh, I have, yeah, no, this is cutaway stabilizer. Cutaway, yeah. As you can see, I didn't even uh, uh, put it on the hoop itself. I could take this off. Oh, okay. I just put it under it just so I can have some stabilize. Uh, I can have this stabilized because yeah. once the stitches grab onto it, it it'll stay in the same it'll place. Stay in the same place right. yeah. So you don't have to have. I put this thick one, but because this design is pretty dense and so really thick. So that's just sitting on the arm. Yeah, yeah. It's just sitting right, right on the okay. arm. Okay. Now you don't have to do, do that. Do you typically you can, hoop your stabilizer or not? Or, I, I, I do depending. So for example, when I'm doing something this thick. I usually don't even hoop it because then I'm wasting a lot, right? Right. Um, so I don't want to hoop the whole thing. In this case, I just put a big one here because we have enough. But you want to get something that's about the size of the design. The design so you, don't, so waste. you don't waste so much money. Because right. right here, you're probably talking about like uh, 25 cents and just, you know, uh, and just to stabilize. Yeah. You want to cut that out to like 5 cents if you right. get it, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll show you some of the cool things. I already have it locked in. I could just press start and it's going to go. So it automatically goes to the needle that you have set it to. close area it goes at a thousand when it goes farther apart it goes a little slower so slower. that it can reach yeah okay but it, it'll do that on that now let me show you something cool let's look at that right there let me stop let's see where we left off right, right. in that area yeah there. so you know about it going. if by any chance you move this around oh that's it yeah. there's no way to get it right in that same exact spot right right so check this out you press one button and then you press start. Right back and, uh, yeah. nice, nice, nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Right? It looks kind of like this mm -hmm. because I don't have any heat. You want to have some heat gun and just blow on it and then all those threads will basically just shrink, shrink a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I heard you say that before. This one here, it, this is one, one uh, puff. Yeah. Now I've done the other ones which you guys have seen. I, I saw have, one on the video. What did you do? Three puffs? Oh man, I think the, yeah, the I think max. Three. Let me see if I have. You any guys did an extreme thing. puff, Guinness Book of World Records puff. Have you been watching the embroidery hub? I watched, yeah, I watched quite a few. I watched quite a few. I, I've, yeah, maintenance is pretty simple. You uh, you have your, your rotary hook where your bobbin is, which yeah, is a little door yeah. back in there. You can uh, cut it for you. Come in here. You open this up. You go in there. I mean, mine is a little because I use it every day. But you go in there, you clean this up, make sure it's all nice and, and clean, and mm -hmm. put some oil in there. You have these here. Yeah. That's where you're going to be putting oil in the as five, well. Yeah. You, if you want, you could do it like that. I like to just open it. Because now I'm actually able to see where, uh, you know, how much oil. Because sometimes you don't know how much you're actually putting. You, wow. you don't want to add too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put just a little drop. You can do it either way. And each individual, oh, where, where's the oil going? Because from the back, from the, okay. Groove, like a, like so a scarf. So it's not regular needles. It's not. Like, it's, in, it's industrial embroidery needles. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these are 75 by 11s. Uh, and, and I know the flat that you're talking about. There's right. you, there's only one way of putting it in. Yeah. No, this one you can literally put it in, uh, twist it, and all. And you don't want that. You want uh. it, you want the hole to be facing directly towards you, and that groove in the back to be facing the back of the uh, of the machine. Okay. Uh, let me see. I don't have a this to the left or this to the right, and then this in the in the center, and it'll, it'll literally rotate all around. So when thing. it knows it's a cap hoop, it's gonna hope rotate itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this thing will rotate itself. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> and then the, the the backing obviously i put extra backing just so it can go all the way around yeah but this is just a, a tear away stabilizer so this is just simple as just tearing it off that's mm. cool that's mm. cool so here's where they start packing them to ship out that's our third party carrier okay that is uh, taking a nice load of our orders um we actually got this machine this uh, building double the size we needed secret the real intention was we were going to lease out the other side of the building, but we grew so much that we just had to take it over. That's always a good thing. We moved in here and we realized, you know what? We're going to need it. <laughs> That's a good thing, so right? So we are, this entire building is all Rakoma. Wow. Making sure all the machines are. Wow, look at this. Hello. Hi, Hi how are you? 
I'm just a YouTuber. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, prepping, making sure the threading and the tension is all correct. Everything is ready to go. So if we run test designs on all the machines, they're going to be ready to go. Test designs on all of our machines before they are sent out. And so this is a machine that somebody bought. Yes. And they're doing test designs to make sure everything yep. is calibrated, everything works, and fully functional. Yep. And then the customer wow. will receive the machine um, already threaded without the spools on, mm -hmm. but the thread will kind of stop here. Like I got mine. Exactly. And you guys will do a little tie. Exactly. Exactly. Ah. So everything is perfectly tensioned, and then you just thread you just pull through your color that way you don't have to be so overwhelmed when you immediately get your machine right 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 you're not as uh, scared because <laughs> it can be you know a very uh, intricate thing but eventually we teach our customers right, how you're to gonna do go it. from beginner to pro really quick mm -hmm. really quick really quick with the uh, resources that you're gonna have i'm looking out. forward to that <laughs> <laughs> and you already have some experience so yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah. works to your favor so you can see all our beautiful lady I see you know, look we're turning the tensions and stiffing the threads getting ready to send stuff out and packaging it up oh yeah. my gosh that's so it yeah, so all of these are going to a home the more you guys talk the more I'm just excited to like <laughs> so excited figure this thing out were you able to, to play around with it at all or just looking looking he showed me a few things um everything made sense I pushed a few buttons okay and um <laughs> yeah um yeah. Have you have you got it unpa unpacked and everything and back in your place? It's, it's unpacked. Okay. It's set up. It's on its stand. I just only thing I didn't do is plug it in and thread it. That's okay. that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I watched all the videos, set up videos. Nice. And uh, yeah, I I didn't raise that thing either. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But good, good. That's about it. Yeah, it was ready to go. Yeah. It's because it integrates. It's our own software. It integrates with our machines. You can sign, send designs, uh, you know, straight from the software to to the machine. Really? Yeah without having to wirelessly uh not 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 on the uh, on the on the newest versions on the 8s panels there, there's there's the oh, okay. wi-fi function here yeah. okay yeah. okay on the, on the 8s panels there's there's the wi-fi function but this is via the um ethernet cable ethernet cable okay yeah, yeah. but, but uh, you can skip the usb part yeah uh, you know, okay if, if you connect the, the ethernet cable and then you stand design um, straight from chroma to that so guys that was awesome we uh were at the Rocoma factory got a whole look around a whole facility everybody was super 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 nice i swear to god it felt like i was talking to family it felt like really felt like they have your best interest at heart so um all the flack that they might be getting on for the internet we're gonna figure this out we're gonna get this machine to work i'm i'm i already spent the money so uh yeah we're gonna figure this out all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to dive into this machine soon. I'm going to take a little bit of time to familiarize myself with it. And I'm going to make some notes on problems that I'm having and things that you might encounter and how to work your way around them and how to fix and adjust so that you won't have those same problems that I have. All right, guys. Um, and a lot of problems that people are having with the machine that might be user error. I don't know. I want to learn the machines like the techs know it so that I can show you guys everything inside and out all right so all right like comment subscribe i'll talk to you guys on the next video peace that wasn't just uh picking up the machine that wasn't just getting the machine that wasn't just a familiarization that was an experience that was i probably had the best Rakoma mt1501 delivery and experience and new to the company type of thing ever and um i don't know hopefully the machine can follow up and it can work which I'm sure it will. Now, I don't know about you, but I am so, so excited and so, so happy that this is happening right now. We manifested this together, guys. Um, I said it was gonna happen. I said I was gonna do it. And we keep on doing newer and monumental stuff. So I thank you guys for growing with me, for helping me grow, and um, for subscribing, for keep on watching, keep on sticking in there with me. And guys, you're seeing what, what's happening right now. I said I was gonna get this commercial embroidery machine. We got it, right? So what's the next step? The next step, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get a building. I'm gonna get a building, A-Dub Productions facility. That's where we're gonna do all our videos. That's where we're gonna do all our embroidery. That's where we're gonna do skits. That's where we're gonna do everything. That's where we're gonna have workshops. That's where we're gonna have um, uh, community events and stuff like that. I'm gonna get a building, guys. So that's the next step. 
got the commercial machine that I said I was going to get, and we need a headquarters. We need a building for A-Dub Productions. Um, that's the next thing that we're going to manifest, guys, and um, it's going to happen. Trust me, it's going to happen, all right? And after that, I don't know, one step at a time, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to show you in regards to visiting the Rokoma factory. And I'm really, really excited to jump into this machine and the functionality of it. So stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And um, that's all I got for you guys. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. Turn up that. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?